Welcome. This demonstration is brought to you by Digital Den. In this demo, you will configure HTTPS for the application load balancer. You will obtain and associate a valid SSL TLS certificate using AWS Certificate Manager. You will configure HTTPS listeners for the application load balancer. You will attach the SSL TLS certificate to the HTTPS listener. You will set up automatic redirection from HTTP to HTTPS. You will check if your domain is correctly pointed to the application load balancer and if the setup worked as expected. Let's get started. To begin, you will obtain and associate a valid SSL TLS certificate using AWS Certificate Manager. Navigate to the ACM dashboard in the AWS Management Console. Please note AWS Certificate Manager is a regional service. When you request a public SSL TLS certificate using ACM, the certificate is associated with the specific AWS region where you made the request. This means that the certificate is only usable within the region where it was issued. If you have resources, such as an application load balancer in multiple regions and you need to use the same certificate across those regions, you must request a separate certificate for each region using ACM. Choose Request a Certificate. Under Certificate Type choose Request a Public Certificate. Choose Next. Under Domain Names for Fully Qualified Domain Name enter your domain name. For validation method choose DNS validation dash recommended. For most AWS users, especially those with domains managed in Route 53, DNS validation is the preferred method due to its automation and convenience. ACM can automatically create the required DNS records for you, making the validation process more convenient. Choose request. In certificates, Choose the refresh icon. Your certificate should now be listed with a status of pending validation. Choose view certificate. DNS validation in ACM uses CNAME records to verify domain ownership for SSL TLS certificate issuance. ACM provides a unique random value as a CNAME record name, which users add to their domain's DNS configuration, allowing automated verification of domain control before issuing the certificate. Under Domains choose Create Records in Route 53. Ensure the records are selected and choose Create Records. A green banner confirms that you successfully created DNS records. To verify that the CNAME records were created and properly propagated in your DNS configuration navigate to the Route 53 dashboard. Under DNS Management, choose Hosted Zones. Choose your hosted zone. Verify that the CNAME records required for ACM's DNS validation are present and correct. Keep in mind that DNS records might take some time to propagate across the DNS infrastructure. Usually, CNAME records propagate relatively quickly, but it's not uncommon for the process to take up to an hour or so. Be patient and recheck the records after some time if needed. Next, you will configure HTTPS listeners for your ALB. Navigate to the EC2 dashboard. In the left-hand navigation pane select load balancers and select your ALB. In the Listeners and Rules tab, choose Add Listener. For Protocol Port, choose HTTPS and keep the default port. For Default Actions, choose Forward to Target Group and choose a Target Group. For Security Policy, 
AWS recommend that you keep the console recommended security policy. For default SSL TLS certificate, choose from ACM and choose the certificate you created earlier. Choose Add. Your application load balancer should now be properly configured with HTTPS listeners, associated with the SSL TLS certificate from ACM. Next, you will create an HTTP listener rule that redirects HTTP requests to HTTPS. In listeners and rules select the HTTP 80 listener. Select manage listener and in the drop down box choose edit listener. Under default actions, choose redirect to URL. For protocol port, choose HTTPS and for port number enter 443. Choose save changes. In the breadcrumbs at the top of the page navigate to your application load balancer. If under the listeners and rules you see a message HTTPS 443 not reachable. You need to update the application load balancer security groups to allow incoming HTTPS traffic on port 443 from the internet. Please note that you should also ensure that the EC2 instances security groups allow incoming traffic from the application load balancer's security group on the required ports. In the left navigation pane, choose security groups. Choose the application load balancer security group. Under inbound rules, verify that you have HTTP traffic on port 80 allowed and HTTPS traffic on port 443 allowed. Additionally, you could explicitly deny HTTP traffic in the security group configuration. By denying inbound traffic on port 80 HTTP, you prevent any direct access to your application load balancer over plain HTTP. The principle of least privilege suggests that you should grant only the minimum permissions necessary for a system or component to function correctly. In the context of an application load balancer, this means allowing only the required inbound traffic on port 443 HTTPS and denying all other inbound traffic, including HTTP on port 80. While denying HTTP traffic is not strictly necessary due to the redirect, it adds an extra layer of security and helps maintain a more controlled and secure environment. With these steps completed, your application load balancer should now be configured to accept HTTPS traffic and forward it to your EC2 instances using the SSL TLS certificate you obtained from ACM. Visitors accessing your web application via the application load balancer will have their communication encrypted, providing a secure connection between clients and your web servers. In this final step, you will point your domain to the application load balancer's endpoint. This DNS record is commonly referred to as an alias record or a CNAME record, depending on your DNS provider. If your domain is managed within AWS Route 53, the process is straightforward and involves creating an alias record. In the left navigation pane, select Load Balancers and select your application load balancer. In the Details section you will find the application load balancer DNS name. You will point your domain to the ALB's endpoint. Navigate to Route 53. Choose Hosted Zones. Choose the hosted zone for your domain. Under Records, choose Create Record. For routing policy, choose Simple. Choose Next. Under Configure Records, choose Define Simple Record. For record name, enter the domain or subdomain name that you want to use to route traffic to your application load balancer. The default value is the name of the hosted zone. For record type, leave the default value of A, routes traffic to an IPv4 address and some AWS resources. 
for value root traffic to, choose alias to application and classic load balancer. Choosing an alias record in Amazon Route 53 allows you to create a DNS record that points to specific AWS resources, such as an application load balancer. For choose region, choose the region where your application load balancer resides. In the drop-down box, choose your application load balancer. Choose define simple record. In configure records, choose create records. To check if your domain is correctly pointed to the application load balancer, and if the setup worked as expected open a web browser and enter your domain or subdomain in the address bar. Verify that the URL in the browser address bar shows HTTPS with the S indicating a secure HTTPS connection. Verify that your SSL TLS certificate is valid and correctly associated with the domain.